So in this video I'm going to show you how to identify the difference between pure copper Cat5 and copper coated aluminium Cat5 and why you should avoid it on your network. So what's the difference? This is solid copper Cat5e cable. This is solid aluminium Cat5e cable. Now anyone should be able to tell that solid copper is going to be a much better conductor than solid aluminium. What they do with aluminium covered, uh, copper, cover, copper coated aluminium network cable is that as the name suggests there's a very thin veneer of copper over the top of the aluminium inner. It's actually quite difficult to tell when you strip it to actually tell whether that's copper or aluminium. Yeah, that's, that's the copper coated aluminium and this is the pure copper and to the naked eye from a cursory look you'll say yep that's, that's good stuff however the easiest way to determine whether you've got pure copper or copper coated aluminium is simply set fire to them or rather heat them up with a cigarette lighter so that's the solid copper this is the copper coated aluminium If I heat it up, you can see instantly it just melts away. Whereas on here, it doesn't melt because it's copper. Why does this matter? Well, when you come to terminate network cable, you either put it into an RJ45 connector, or generally what you'd be doing is punching it into a patch panel. Now, a patch panel has all of these slots on there and you use something called a punch down tool and you punch that down between the pins and effectively it's a pair of jaws. So the wire comes along, the wire comes along and you use the tool to punch it down and it effectively cuts through the insulation and digs into the wire. Now, if that's solid copper, then it's copper all the way through. So it doesn't matter how much it digs into the wire, it's always going to be touching, it's going to be metal on pure copper and always be a good, condu good conductor. Uh, with copper-coated copper aluminium wire, this cheap stuff here, when you punch it in, you'll be going through the insulation, but then you'll also be scratching through the copper coating, and then you'll have the con contactors in there actually conducting onto the aluminium wire which is a poor conductor of electricity and also it will oxidise over time and therefore increase um, error rates and bit problems. So for that reason you should avoid, using, avoid buying copper coated aluminium cable. It's very difficult to tell what you're being sold. Um, these two boxes here, just come back a bit. So on the left is a reputable brand. This is the solid copper. This is the copper coated aluminium. It has all the correct names on there. You know, probably that dots the bit how they're trying to get away with trade description. But the Cat5 standard doesn't include or doesn't describe aluminium uh, wire. Cat5 has to be made from solid copper. So you put all these UL registers. These are probably just pasted onto the empty box. Um, so it sort of looks pucker and it looks genuine, um, but essentially it's completely fake and uh, it's just going to lead to no end of network problems and just weird errors down the road so it might be in for a year or so and then you'll start getting problems. Um, copper coated aluminium is quite widespread so this is a 12 core alarm cable. Um, you can sort of tell that it's not right when you try to twist it it won't twist properly. So again that's I, I know that this is aluminium and you can see it just dissolves away Whereas this is real copper, so this is just alarm cable as well, but it's made of real copper. Another type of uh, wire to watch out for is something called copper coated steel. So this one, this is RJ59 coax cable, and it would pass the cigarette lighter test. So you might be thinking, oh great, that is uh, that copper. However, put a magnet onto it and you can see 
that it sticks to the magnet. So this is what's known as copper coated steel and again steel is not as good a conductor, it's probably stronger than um, aluminium, I'd probably prefer to have aluminium but if the copper comes off then it's more likely to go rusty. Um, the only thing I would say about this stuff is it's generally used, it's not used in insulation displacement so you won't be punching it down into anything, you'll be putting a, a BNC connector on there and be crimping onto the copper so you're not scratching through the copper into the steel underneath so this is potentially less of a problem um, the braid seems to be made from copper I think possibly steel difficult to tell actually it might be aluminium but um, yeah so RJ59 I'm, I wish I'd rather have it as solid copper but probably less of a problem but anyway um, in summary, uh, especially for networking cable, um, always test to make sure your cable is made of copper and not aluminium because it's going to give you nothing but trouble down the road. Hope you found that useful and goodbye.